Welcome to the channel. In this very short video, we're going to explain how to take a large Excel file and break it up into groups that are manageable. So in this case, what we have is a normal uh, file that's got about, oh, 2,500 entries in it. And this is actually for door knocking. It's uh, for a parody campaign. And uh, what these guys want to do is they want to break this into groups of 100 because they want to uh, assign this gigantic list to about 25 different volunteers uh, and they want to break it into groups of about 100 so how do you go about doing that in a way that makes a makes sense and b doesn't take all day well not that hard in canada we have something called a postal code in the united states it's a zip code and wherever you are you've got some sort of a postal designation and so what we're going to do here is simply sort this entire document by the uh, zip code or postal code so it, so then the routes will make sense because they'll be geographically connected so that's easy enough to do first that's not really what we're here to show you but we'll just go through that first we'll just sort a to z and boom there it is now what we need to do is to group these into sets of 100 how the heck do you do that it's not that hard uh what we'll do first is we'll do an insert here and just add uh, an entirely new column and we'll call this a route number, okay? And in the route number, we're going to use what one of our techs came up with, which is a simple formula. So what this is saying is you take the row number, so in this case, row two, and you subtract two from it. That gets you to zero. And then you divide by 100, and then you add the number one to it. So in this case, that's going to give you one. Let's just drag this down, the same formula, and let's choose row 10, minus two is eight, divided by 100 is 0 0.08, plus one is 1 1.08, but we, and then we have it set to use uh, only a whole integer, one. So let's uh, take this little grab bar at the bottom right here, we'll just double click and it'll, it'll multiply it all the way down. Now look what happens when we get to 100. Oh my. It changes to two and what happens when it gets down further isn't that nice and we could change this it doesn't have to be a hundred uh, we could set it to 50 and it will break that into it'll double the number of groups so let's go back to the top here and set this to 50 oops not 500 but 50 and then double click to have that go all the way down and i think the top one yeah I think the top one's still screwed up let's just move this up boom so now it will break this into groups of 50. So when we get down to 50, you can see it changes to two. Okay, so you have your root numbers, but well, we wanna print this off and give it to our volunteers. How do you go about doing that? It's not that hard to do. Simply go to the data tab and select subtotal. And where do you want the subtotals to change? I want it to change a subtotal every time there's a new root number. And we can use the count function, sure. And there's uh, this page break between groups, which we'll get back to in a second, but that's really the key right here. So let's click OK. And now you can see these are broken into groups of 50. But that's, again, I want to be able to print it. So when I click File, Print, I want it to be broken into sections of 50. And you can see it is, but you want to be able to hand these sheets to different people, so it's really not what we're looking for here. Let's go back and click on subtotal again, and this time select page break between groups. Click OK. Now let's go back to file and print, and let's take a look. So count one, we've got 50, and there it is. Now go to page two, page three, page four, page five, so on and so forth. Now. If this is wider than what we're looking for, we can do things like change it from portrait to landscape so you can fit more columns in. And you can see this is actually cutting fields off, so that's probably not the best. So what I'll do is click in the top left-hand corner and then double click one of the column breaks. And it will set the visible column to be the maximum of all uh, the letters that are in that space. And you can see here that there's a dotted line down here, and that means that's a page break. That's, that's the dotted line down, dotted line across are the page breaks. And you can see here, it's going to put the postal code on a separate page. Well, I don't want that. 
I want it all to be on one page. So just fix this a bit. So route, uh, we can do it there. You can see here that the page break is now back where we would like it. But if, if it were off a little bit, we could shrink it down just a little bit more, maybe cut off a few uh, letters uh, from somebody. We could also click anywhere, press control A and change the font size, you know, to something a little smaller and then uh, adjust these columns. So you get the idea, it's not very hard. And now when we go back to file and print, there it is. So that's our route. Isn't that cool? So if you found this video useful, please give us the big thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. If you have any questions or concerns, you can get a hold of us directly at www.urtch.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. Or you can leave a question or a comment below. And if we don't get back to you, somebody else will, because on YouTube, everybody has an opinion. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.